Hey, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in and listening, watching on YouTube, listening on SoundCloud, slash the podcast app. As always, guys, you can find us on Patreon, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can email us at, with Gmail. I guess you can email <laughs> us. I was thinking like... Even if you have AOL. Exactly. That's the thing. Like You can do it anywhere so that the phrase doesn't um, work. Anyway. Yeah, there are tons of ways for you to get in contact with us, and we encourage you to do so. Uh, all the links are in the description below if you're watching on YouTube or the podcast app, actually. I think it's all there, too. So we encourage you Very cool. to, to hang out with us a little bit. Yeah. Um, you may notice we are uh, wearing... We don't normally match, but th- today uh, felt like... Similar shirts here. Special What's occasion. This? Yeah, yeah gonna, we uh my back. oh 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 uh I hope you can see that. So uh you you guys have heard us mention our good friend Andrew who has helped us out with these lovely uh Ooh, cups here. This time. Uh one of which we'll be giving away at 500 followers on Instagram. Again, Shameless plug. Not one of these. No. I remember a it's new a one. new one. It's a um, brand new one that has not been touched. Unless you're into that. Um well, yeah, if you want <laughs> the cup that's touched either of our faces you should say so now and yeah. i guess i guess we'll comments, send it to you yeah like yo give me give me wills we all know it'll be will um it doesn't have to no but andrew our good friend uh has kindly made us these shirts dude uh he's made guy, us a few of them he's done a lot he's a us. champ yeah he's he's coming andrew. through with a lot of stuff we really appreciate it so a thank you plays. andrew uh if plays. you enjoy the shirts if you would like one uh mm-hmm. let us know uh we're not technically like they're not technically on sale yet or anything like that true true um we have to generate a little bit more interest first of course uh, of course but if there is some interest we will get to work on selling them that way you guys can actually get your hands on them we also are thinking yes. about giving one in the 500 follower giveaway so we'll see about that too yeah yeah um, they're very cool they're very nice soft yeah they're good quality and, like, shirts honestly i was surprised a plus yeah it's it very is, good it ooh. All Crisp. made up by Andrew. He did a great job. Yeah. So Fantastic, thank dude. you again, Andrew. Uh, and uh, hopefully you guys will be interested in one. Yeah. Um, now. Let's get to business. Here we go. Yeah. Let's it's get the to, filler uh, fun day. Yeah. We, and we always do things a little special on a little, uh, little Sunday. Fun stuff, yeah. No matter what time of the day it is. It's definitely not this. 1240 a.m. No, Will definitely didn't just get sure. off work. Yeah. That did not happen. No, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it is, it is bright and early. It is actually early. Er, it's super <laughs> early. It's like forty-one minutes early. Look, <laughs> details aside, it's Sunday. <laughs> we do things special on Sunday. <laughs> Kevin, what's that thing? Well, as you mentioned, we do something yeah. special. Normally, we do our card of the day. This time on the on the filler fun days, we do our most aptly named segment. The Kiki Weekly. Yeah, buddy. And this one is really cool. Um, And it is should hold a special place for most Magic players. Yeah. Right? Because it kind of generated... Well, I won't say it generated, but it is the namesake of a very popular, important, and well-renowned group yes. of folks. So the, the combo this week uh, is channel and fireball. So uh, I Kevin, can't... I don't want to say channel fireball. Right. And see, that's... I walk in. Yeah. And Kevin introduces that to me. He's like, so we're going to do the Kiki Weekly. It's Channel Fireball. And I stopped. I was like, wouldn't we need permission or something? <laughs> also, what? But no, it's that, the combo. So Channel and Fireball, the two cards, <laughs> do make a combo. Channel Fireball is also a uh, a team as well as content producer. They're yeah. this huge magic group um, that do Enormous. a lot of very cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, they are not a sponsor. This is in no way affiliated yes, with them. But that should known. be said. Um, <laughs> but the combo is channel into fireball. And so yeah. channel being two green for a sorcery that basically mm-hmm. says you can pay one life to create one colorless mana until the end of the turn. Mm-hmm. Um, and fireball is X and a red, deal X damage to target creature or player. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. If you haven't put it together, you the pay a bunch of there. life and shoot them with a fireball. Yep. So if you have any way to get in, (laughs) if you have, if you are sitting turn two or three and they have less life than you and they're tapped out, they're dead. Yeah. You win. You win. Uh, Unless they force it, I guess. Um, 
Well, anyway, that there's ways around. Segues it, into still. another segment, which we'll get to later. All right, um, right, right. But yeah, so that's basically it, and it's a really solid combo. It's very mm-hmm. easy to pull off. Uh, there's other. It doesn't necessarily have to be fireball. There's things sure. like bay and fire, crater's uh-huh. claws. Uh, tons of any like X, X damage burn, spells. Yeah. yeah, there's black ones too. But yeah, they yeah. they all get you there. So it's all the same thing. But right. channel being the key card that you can. Yeah. And uh, that being said, there's also other cards that combo really well with channel. Oh, there's so any many. of the Eldrazi Titans. Absolutely. Uh, channel Emrakul. Uh, <laughs> if you're playing in the Vintage Cube right now, uh, that is it's actually a thing. a thing that you can do. So yeah. you should do it. Um, yeah, if you get past channel, I think you probably just take it. Most of the time you take like it. Like 9 out of 10. Yeah. Unless you're just not in green and you're not really going. If you're a go-wide strategy, I don't think you want channel. No, probably not. Yeah. Um, so. But you can even channel into an entwined tooth and nail. You know, there's oh, yeah. other ways. Yeah, yeah. You don't necessarily have to channel into just the Emrakul or sure. the Kozilek or anything. Right, right. So. Channel's versatile. Yeah. Um, it's cheap, big stuff for, yep. you know, pain stuff. I'm surprised it's not black, honestly. Right? Yeah, like, you, that seems for flavor, like a, you'd kind of think it would be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's in green. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. I guess channel no channeling through nature. I don't know. You could channel the, sense. You could channel dark magic. I guess. In yeah. like, if you want to get all fantasy. Fantasy about it. Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saving that voice forever. <laughs> all right, so... Very cool combo. It's neat. Uh, it's neat. One of my favorites, and just a classic one, and obviously an important one for the MTG community. Oh, yeah. Um, Broke open a lot of decks and yeah, formats. For sure. Indeed. Indeed. So. Main topic today. Today, what guys. Uh, this requires a little bit of setup, a little bit of, what's the word? Um, perspective, maybe? There's one that, that that's not what I want to say, but it escapes me. Anyway, look, that's not important. What is important <laughs> Kevin and I were chatting the other day with our buddy Alex. We yep. had just gotten done streaming, uh, and we just finished uh, Vintage Cube. Um, Which was awesome, by the way. Super if you haven't fun. done the Vintage Cube, please oh, go do man. it. It's go so it. good. There are cards from um, all sorts of sets. Yeah, yeah. It's wonderful. There's even some Amonkhet cards in the Vintage there Cube. There are a few. Manglehorn really cool. does some work, by the way. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. It's really neat. Uh, yeah. Vintage in general, especially in a limited format, is awesome. Anyway. Yeah, yeah that out of the way we were talking uh and i recently brought up and shared with kev a video by ironically enough channel fireball uh (laughs) that frank lapore did um how channel fireball works is the guys on the team um occasionally will put out individual videos uh, affiliated with channel fireball but with no like exterior help it's just frank lapore sometimes lsv does it um minguchi does it so like that so frank lapore put out this video and in it he says, hey, wizards, <laughs> it's probably time to unban Jace the Mind Sculptor in Modern. And everybody's mind is blown. Yeah, because yeah. everyone was like, wait, what? <laughs> so it should be stated here, um, everybody probably knows what Jace the Mind Sculptor is. Sure, On sure. the off chance you're new to magic. Yeah. You never man. heard of Jace the Mind Sculptor. Um, he's a planeswalker. Uh, yeah, he's uh, like the planeswalker. He's <laughs> notoriously the best planeswalker i have to say notoriously because there are always people who are going to disagree and that's okay you me uh but notoriously speaking mm-hmm. he is the best planeswalker uh yeah. it's generally agreed that that's the case sure. and uh other than will I, <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> i mean so he's kind he got emergency banned in standard uh yes. and subsequently bo- banned in modern yeah. for being too good uh, so he's yeah. only really legal in legacy and vintage at the moment, and uh, yeah, he he's real good. So uh, yeah, so Jace, let's talk about when he was banned because that's important. Yeah, right. Yeah, when that's he, relevant to this topic. When he was banned, <laughs> he was easily, in turn four, one of the strongest plays you could ever make. Would yes. you say? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was bad. Yeah. Um, so there wasn't really anything to compete and should be known frank makes these points these are points i've held but yeah, frank yeah. articulates them much better than i ever could he's better at this than we are he's better at go most listen things to frank <laughs> than we are uh so yeah look it up um <coughs> but in it he says on turn four jace just doesn't compete at the same level he does that power spike yeah isn't quite the same it's leveled out a bit 
it, with uh, other cards a lot um which we'll kind of go into so kevin and i were talking back and forth that's yep. the setup for this um and I, can we both before going into this sure sure sure, sure can we right. both agree that jace should be unbanned yes totally we both agree with that right? totally um yeah frank made some great points yeah. and i've i've resonated with a lot of the things he said because i yeah, yeah believed him for a long time yeah um i never thought about like unbanning jace just because he's the card you don't get to play in modern and i've always yeah. kind of been okay with that yeah but yeah he makes great points mm -hmm. um it, it's just fun to play fun to play with jace everyone loves jace um, I mean, he's classic, right? Yeah, like, he's like he's the planeswalker. He's the most popular planeswalker. Yeah, I think he's got the most cards too, like planeswalker cards. Yeah, and that's like, just because was every time they print a Jace, people go crazy because of Jace the Mind Sculptor. Well, exactly. They're like, and just yeah. it just sort of affirms it's the a point. circle of it's like, and even though I mean, to be honest, I mean, Jace Friends Prodigy was pretty good, but like mm -hmm. he was very good, mm -hmm. but like. Definitely. The latest Jaces, I mean, they're not like, actually that good. Yeah. Unraveler of Secret, like Guild Pact isn't awesome. Guild Pact kind of sucks. <laughs> like, yeah. um, he's like Architect of Thought Jace? is okay. He was really good in standard. In standard, he was great, but like just in general, he's you just don't kind see of him okay. in constructed decks really. Not really. Ever. Like EDH, maybe. Very, very yeah. rarely in modern do you see him. I, uh, I and it's usually in a stunned. doubling season deck because you can ult him yeah. like immediately. Okay, that makes sense. Actually. But that's about it. Yeah. Like okay. I, I don't think it really gets played anywhere else. Um. Okay. Yeah. It's just generally like, if you look at all of the Jace Planeswalker cards. Yeah. The majority of them kind of suck, but because Jace the Mind Sculptor <laughs> is so good, I mean, everybody assumes they're all good. <laughs> it's it's kind of like and you'll make these points. I don't want to make them for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, later i guess but you kind of just use him for card advantage right like yeah each, which is important yeah and each but, one yeah. like does it a little differently a little better like bellerin for three which is great yeah i mean i mean you get a good Jace. essentially if you if your opponent lets him stick and doesn't do anything with them you can yeah. just draw three cards right because yeah. it's Easy. minus one right to draw I a believe, card for yourself i'm not 100 percent sure but honestly even if at plusing you're still gaining more advantage in the long run because you're going to be able to start minusing him, so it doesn't yeah, really matter that's anyway. Fair. That's fair. Um, and normally, you're, that whole other point. Sure, we'll sure, get sure, there. sure. We'll get there. But, and that's a topic for another episode. Yeah. But uh, all that to say, uh, we started talking about other cards that were banned. Yes. Um, and I think Alex, or perhaps you, I'm going to say Alex, though. I don't know if he originally thought that Jay shouldn't be unbanned. I don't know if he changed his mind, but someone said, no, that would break modern. And we were like, no. I don't think it would break modern. It would not. Which leads us into... But we'll... Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> I... For however this came up, I, I'm struggling to recall like the specifics. Yeah, yeah. But it, it boiled down to, I mentioned Ponder. Would be so much worse for modern than unbanning Jace. And for a time, I don't know if Kevin's had time to think about it, but he disagreed that... <laughs> that ponder has a less impactful presence in modern than jace the we'll, we'll revisit my points all right we'll revisit them is that i don't want to speak for you and call you whatever no, right that's here. fair is that is that what happened no i think so my initial thought was jace my initial look jace being a more powerful card overall my thought was, okay, sure. Jace would clearly be more impactful for modern. But upon giving it a little bit of thought, okay. mm -hmm. um, it I think it depends on how you define impactful. And we'll get okay. into that. Okay. We'll get yeah, into that. Sure, 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 sure. sure. Um, but yeah, so basically what it came down to was sort of this argument between Jace and Ponder as to which yeah. is more basically going to break modern more if they yeah. ever decided to unban it there as far as we know there are no talks to unban these oh, cards yeah. this was a completely, this is just a fun conversation yeah. we had and frank's um, video was independent of wizard it wasn't <laughs> yeah. like hey guys get ready no it, yeah um you know. and i do like frank's point before we get into this that so he gave the example uh golgari grave troll yes so yeah, yeah, basically yeah. his point was at worst, let's try unbanning these cards. Mm -hmm. If they don't work, just ban them again. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. It's like, right. they're on the two ends of the spectrum, there's like the Grave Troll, which Dredge became Ooh, basically man. the best at, and yeah. just like wiped it out. And so they had to ban it again. Dredge is still a thing. 
even and without still, the grape troll. It's strong. It's actually very good right now. Um, it's not like nearly as competitive. But no, 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 it's, it's not as consistent because that's the best dredger. But yeah. like just in general, it's still pretty good. Absolutely. Um, and then on the other end, they unban stuff like Bitter Blossom, mm -hmm. which is a great card. It's a super powerful yeah, card, fantastic. but it doesn't. It didn't break modern at all. No, and it's still around. Like, it didn't reban Bitter Blossom. Yeah, like blue black fairies is a thing, but mm -hmm. it like doesn't. It doesn't actually do that much because I mean Bitter Blossom is good, but it's not good enough to make the deck like tier one. You Any know what I mean? More Any more is, is good to see. And that's right. the timing is absolutely a key factor. Yeah, for sure. Which is why it's a you've got strong points to make when you talk about unbanning Jace. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. So <laughs> So I'm taking Jace's side. I'm saying that I basically we both agree that these cards could see they they should be unbanned i think both of them are we agreeing i know i know ponder, jace i don't ponder think ponder should necessarily be should be unbanned it but i definitely think jace in should modern. be no no um, not in modern no no baby no but yeah so you're basically defending ponder uh, yeah i'm defending jace defending a little bit ponder's bandedness yeah and status on the band list yeah because it's more impactful than jace the mind so start us off why do you think it's more impactful with pleasure so a point i made that night uh, is that Jace is a fantastic card and obviously more powerful than Ponder, right? Yeah. However, I posit that Ponder is better than Jace for at least three turns, or at most two, three turns, sorry. So you can cheat out Jace on turn three, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. But that's not... The decks that would play Jace outright aren't decks that would cheat out Jace. Fair. Because Jace isn't a card that like you need out on turn three to make your deck work. Right. Yeah. It's kind of like really, really good icing yeah. on a cake. Yeah. Would you say? Like, it makes your deck tick and, and can make. It's the death and death by chocolate. Sure. Yeah. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. I mean, maybe you've been watching more chick flicks than I have. I didn't. I, actually, I, I just watched Family Guy the other day, and uh, it was the one where okay. Carter died. Well, he goes into a coma, and they watch his, Which like. Carter? Uh. Lois's dad. Oh and yeah, he like Mr. Peter Schmidt. Yeah, Mr. Peter Schmidt. And so, yeah, 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 yeah. This is so off topic, but uh, he Fine. like they watch a video of his like will and what is gonna happen to the company. Okay. That he runs, and he's like, "Oh, death by chocolate." And then he's like, "Ah, oh, no, no, keep the keep the tape rolling." And then he goes on to the next one about how he died. It's like if I died in this way, and then one of them was death by chocolate. <laughs> so I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I it's love been stuck it. in my head for a little while. That's I love that. That'd be such a sweet way to go. Death by chocolate. Wink. Sweet way. Um, uh -oh. No, but really. Ah, <laughs> not too bad. Would I complain? I probably would. Dying sucks. Anyway. <laughs> to bring it back. Totally. <laughs> what were we talking about, Kev? He's really good icing, but he's not a card you cheat out. Jace, the mind sculptor, let's yeah. tie it back, is not a card you cheat out because yeah. he wins you the game outright. Sure. But, so that means... We can say that Jace comes out turn four, but Ponder can come out for three turns ahead of Jace and do Ponder's thing. Sure. Right? So for three turns, I posit that Ponder is better in that respect. And I will also 100% concede, because everybody knows I hate Serum Visions, <laughs> it would be such a huge upgrade from Serum Visions. Like, to Gigantic. the point where it's just, like, insane. Um, because Serum Visions is just terrible. <laughs> well, like, sorry, but... <laughs> It's okay and modern because it has to be, but like yeah. other than that, I mean, for one, any card draw for one man is really good, and Ponder's yeah, but like insanely good. On, tell me honestly if there was any other like decent cantrip in modern. I mean, it. I mean, that depends. Like, like one man a cantrip in modern. Anyone. Well, okay. Are Would we it, talking about any of the cantrips? Or like any of the like the good one, one mana no i'm just saying, good one mana cantrips would you take a scry one draw one over serum because mm. you get that scry first that's a good question you, yeah right? i think i probably would would you i think i probably would hmm. it depends it's super situational but yeah i think i would okay i think that scry before the draw is important it is and it's it's really nice and that's always brainstorms thing over serum yeah. vision right is well, basically, yeah. But, well, there's a lot more to brainstorm. Right. Oh, no, that's fair. That's fair. I'm, I said brainstorm. What am Which I Which is part of my argument. I know. Preordain is what you're thinking. Thank you. That's the one. Anyhow. Anyhow. 
Uh, we get so off. I know. It's we, we don't uh, have a script. We just wiggle through. Yeah, our, we really just sort of wing process. it. It's great. Uh, so no, my opening thing, I guess, would be that Ponder is stronger for three more turns. Okay, and is historically in Magic probably one of the best turn ones you could ever do. Right, you get Thought Seize, you get Inquisition, which is weaker Thought Seize, but Ponder turn one for a blue deck, it's very good. Oh yeah. no! Oh no, sir! For any deck that for wants. any deck that runs blue, it's very good. Yes, which is that's far more than a blue deck. Like I'm sure, than a control deck. And this is my thing: so many decks want Ponder, and so many decks benefit from Ponder. Yeah, way more than they ever would Jace. Yeah. And I've got a few specifics, and I can hold them, or I can just say them now. You can go ahead and say them. That's fine. All right. So you telling me <laughs> that you want to give <laughs> Miracles access to four cards and control their draws? Freaking Miracles. The deck... Miracles would run Jace. Not over Ponder, for sure. No, not over. Like, they would run both. I don't think they'd run Jace. They don't Are need you him. serious? If they get Ponder, they don't need Jace. That's so not true. No, no, Repeated no, no. brainstorms here, here we go. Here for we go. miracles? Here Are you go. serious? Here we go. If they get Ponder, turn one. They can win the game by turn three. Easy. They get to set up their draws for the next three turns. Easy. Miracles. I. They would run Jace. Are you serious? Maybe as like a one of, as like a bonus, but not like, I gotta have Jace. You would definitely have Jace. Ponder, There's no way you would not have Jace. I'm not saying Ponder, Ponder wouldn't would, go in the deck. It would speed up Miracles so much more. It would First make of it, all, we're talking about a deck that's not even a thing in Modern. I mean, but it could but be. But with these cards, it might be. Here's the deal, though. Definitely could be. Here's the deal, though. And it's not a high-tier deck in Modern, but it's played. Okay, you realize, though, Ponder yeah. doesn't interact with your hand at all. Yes. Oh, right? Yeah. That's fine. You draw, okay. I mean, you draw a card. So if you draw a miracle it. card in your hand, yeah, opening game or something, opening, you know, sure, you can no longer miracle that card. No, yeah, you get that right. Yes, that's totally okay. fine. You know, brainstorm gets around that. Oh, because it sets it back and draws a card. You get to put any card in your hand back yeah. on top of your deck. How about yeah. repeated brainstorms for the rest of the game? The rest of the game, Jace is dead the next turn. Uh, they're gonna try and kill him. Yeah, uh, that's they for sure. Totally would because turn four, you're but tapped the out. The possibility. So, all right, brainstorms for the rest of the game. Are you like this? Is another that would definitely go in it. Here's another point. Okay. Ponder is innocent enough and hard enough to interact with that it gets around so much more than Jace does, right? Because their only chance to stop a ponder is a counter, right? Mm -hmm. Or, I guess, in weird situations, interactions with your deck, maybe. But I can't think of any. So, like, I'm just going to say the only way to is counter, right? Okay. So, you get Jace on turn four. Tap yeah, four yeah. mana, play Jace. Mm -hmm. Brainstorm. Sure, you get your miracle thing. But on turn four, if you're tapped out, you don't get any mana to do miracles. So, that doesn't work. Well, no, but you put it back on top of your deck, and the next turn you draw it, then you miracle it. And that's fine. And that's what you can do with Ponder, too. Right. If you... But I'm saying if it's in your hand, it's a dead card. If it's what ponder? No, not ponder. The a miracle card. If you've already got it in your hand, right? But you can put it back on top of your deck and then draw it next turn, so it's no longer a dead card. You get to play it for its miracle cost. Well, right, but you can totally do that with ponder too. You no, you pick up three. I'm sorry. Here's do you the deal. What ponder does? I know what ponder does. Here's look the at deal. the top three cards of your library. Put them back in any order. You may shuffle, then draw a card. Okay, I get that. Brainstorm yes. says you can pick any card in your hand and put two of them back on top of your deck, not just out of the three okay, you drew. Okay, I see what you're saying. So I see if you have saying. a dead card in your hand that's a miracle card, you can I then put it saying. back on top. I see what you're saying. It's basically Sensei's Divining Top on Jace. Also banned, right? Also banned. Does that make Which is the sense? reason Miracles works banned? Right. in okay. Legacy. That's fine. So, Kev, that's, <laughs> Kev, that's I mean, fine. No, here we go. That's fine. But turn four, boom, Jace is out there. You're tapped out. Sure. You put your miracles back that you, you want to treat the angels next turn, and that's fine. You're tapped out. They kill Jace. And With what? Fireball, sure. It could be anything. Because Fireball is played in modern. Fireball. Uh, not Fireball. <laughs> what am I thinking? Lightning Bolt. 
Thank you. Because Brainstorm is his zero, or is the Fate Seal his plus two? Fate Seal is plus two. Brainstorm zero. zero so if you, brainstorm. if you Brainstorm, he's dead to Bolt. Okay. Right? Which doesn't matter because you then put Entreat on top, and you're going to win the next turn. It could matter, though. Right? Because they see you mess around. They know you play Miracles. You put two cards back. I'm just going to kill Jason. Hold up a Counterspell. That's fine. Like, that kind of line could happen. Or picture this. Mm-hmm. They're playing some form of, shoot, Vizier Company. Even. Okay. They don't need to kill Jace. They can just win on turn four, which they do consistently. But if you're playing a control deck, you would have answers. But Miracles to is creatures. a control deck. I'm talking about in Miracles. Okay. Which is where the brainstorm is strongest in this scenario. In this scenario, sure. Right? And remember, you tapped but here's out everything. My thing. But wait, you tapped okay. out everything to play Jace. You have no more mana to play with because it's turn four and Jace is out. Okay. So we're talking about a one specific situation. There are plenty more. With one specific. There game. are plenty more. But if we're positing that you play Jace on turn four, you've got nothing left to play with. All right. So turn. here are my arguments. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bring All right. Up. Here's my arguments. I'm not going to talk about a specific deck. That's fine. There's so many and you need to. All right. Here's the deal. Okay. I will 100% concede. Ponder goes in more decks. Oh, yeah. It creates consistency in more decks. Oh, yeah. And so in that instance... As I said at the top of the episode, it would be more impactful on Modern. I will concede that right away. No argument there at all. I think in the decks that Jace would be played, which would be any control variant running blue, Mm -hmm. uh, which is control. I mean, uh, Miracles, if that was a thing. Uh, And I do think it could be if, you know, but that whole other thing. Sure. And And a lot of those tempo style decks uh-huh. anything like that it would they would run jace hands down okay in yeah. those decks i have to think if i would build it i would probably put jace in you would put jace i mean not many though well that's just because you can only play one at a time i know but i'd probably like, just put one in there i would put probably two i think right. it depends i think it depends where your curve ends up but that's a whole other thing jace at four mana doesn't give me the consistency that other cards do but see, I don't think that's necessarily true. Here's the deal. Okay. All right, go, Here's I'm the sorry, deal. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Sorry, sorry. 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 Let's talk about his abilities in order. Okay. Yeah. Plus two Fate Seal. Mm-hmm. Fate Seal is a very powerful ability. I don't think it's that good anymore. It was. It's good against a lot of decks. It's not good against stuff like Lantern Control, so, things like that, which are pro- prevalent decks in modern. It's good thing. against a lot of decks. Here's the thing. Even if it's good against these decks, it's good maybe sure right no no i agree but i'm just saying so it's that's no assurance there that's kind of rolling the dice you get a little bit of knowledge if you flip a land like oh they've just got a forest on top phew they a i guess could have needed that forest, but they draw it anyway so that doesn't really matter but let's say it's something big and you flip it to the bottom of their deck what if that a copy of that card's right behind it i get it or a, i understand or a worse but I'm just saying, I, there's something to be said for being able to look at the top of an opponent's deck. I know. And saying, okay, yes. I don't want you to have this card, or yes, you're going to get yes. screwed by Mishra's having Bobble this card. works like that. Yeah, you're right. That's it's why a it's a very card. good card yes. right now. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's Fate Seal. I'm not going to say it's a soft lock or anything like that, God, but it's not good. Not at all. Uh, second ability, Brainstorm. This is obviously what you would most likely use Jace for, I think, the majority of the time. Yeah, I think, fair? yeah, I don't, I don't, there's no situation where I would want to fate seal more than Brainstorm. That's not, I wouldn't agree with that. There well, are definitely for me, because I don't, <laughs> I feel like the decks I play in my skill level, I would definitely have already have lost if I'm just praying they don't get their combo. No, you, you can like 100% lock them out of games doing that. I'm not saying it happens often. I'm saying you can. Okay. I'll give you that, but I don't know. The majority of the time, you're going to brainstorm. It's a zero ability, Mm. so you can... Assuming nothing ever happened to Jace, and that's just a situation. Sure. You get to infinitely brainstorm. Sure. Theoretically. Sure, theoretically. Here's the deal. What's the most prevalent land in modern? Land cycle. Land cycle? It'd be the fetches, right? Yeah. What works really great with fetch lands, as it turns out? Brainstorm. Okay. So, in any blue deck, yeah. you get to brainstorm. If you don't like the cards that you put back on top, you get to fetch, shuffle them away, sure, and then draw new cards. So, it's card advantage, but it has the upside of the fetch lands. It's repeatable. Sure. 
and yeah it's just really good i couldn't think of the third point that i was gonna i had a third thing and i forgot it (laughs) that's good okay i mean ponder lets you shuffle just and it's saying. a one shot. And you don't need another card. You also can't saying. put cards from your hand back in if they're dead. That's fine. I'm just telling you. I know. I know. You're right. You're it's absolutely right. The brainstorm, I think, would work better in modern. Brainstorm overall. would is like if we we're just talking about the card brainstorm, oh, God, it would be yeah. way better. Way better than ponder. But yeah. it's too good. That would never get unbanned. So the next is ponder, like logically. Yeah, no, right? no, I agree. But that's why you this... could brainstorm on Jace. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, once, maybe. Well, once, definitely. But, once, definitely. But, but now you've brainstormed for four <coughs> mana. I'm saying in the advent that they kill Jace the next turn, you've spent four mana to brainstorm. How does that feel? Would brainstorm be as good if it was four mana? No, of course not. And that's what Jace is if they kill him. A four mana brainstorm. Right. Whereas Ponder, on turn one, <laughs> sets you up tremendously. <laughs> I th- I think the brainstorm on Jace is better than Ponder specifically. Uh, overall, yes, I do. You don't get it as many times as you get Ponder, though. You only get him. You get Ponder a maximum of four times. No, 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 no. Snapcaster. Snapcaster. Okay, fair enough. Colagon's command. If we're talking about just playing the card Ponder without any other card sure. interaction, okay, you okay. get it four times. Yes, you could get Jace. maximum. You can get Jace as many times. And yes, you can say that they want to yeah, kill it right yeah, away, yeah. but that's just a testament to how good Jace is. No, any Planeswalker, right? Like, No, not any How planeswalker. many Planeswalkers do they let live? Depends on the situation. 100% depends on the situation. I'm going to say, well, not really, because any Liliana, they're like... If you're it. not a creature deck and you have no cards in hand, do you care about Liliana? What kind of deck is not a creature deck that doesn't hold cards in hand? I'm just saying, that's a situation that happens. That's a situation that doesn't exist. That's a hypothetical that couldn't be. I'm just saying. You don't believe? It happens. In the war? It aliens. Here's my thing. I don't think you play Jace always on turn four. I don't think the majority of the time you do. Well, now he's just worse. No, he's not worse. You get to counter. You get to protect him. I get to protect him. Yes. So the thing about Jace is, though, you get, yes, it's a four mana brainstorm, mm. but it's also four mana for other ability. You get to do other things. So you get true, to pick, true, it's true. more versatile, I would oh, say. Oh, of course. And of so course. you get to pick and choose what you need to do, which is just great. Like if you need to bounce a creature on their end, if right. they've only got a token out, you just killed a creature. Remember, if it's a good creature, they not, don't get it anymore. We're not debating if Jace is a better card than Ponder. He is. Right. Ponder would is just worse for modern is stronger in modern than Jace is. Yeah. I, well, he's more impactful that he hits more decks. Ponder is? Ponder is. Okay. But I think Jace would be better in the decks that he would go in. I really do think that. He goes in less <sighs> decks, but he would be way better in those decks. See, uh, I don't know. That's such a... I, to me, that feels like a weird point to make, you know? Does it? Why? Yeah, because... He goes in less decks, so he's not as good for everybody. Sure. But he's way better now that he's in less decks. Like, I don't... He's better in those decks. That doesn't make him better. Than Ponder the... is? Than Ponder is, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean... Okay, yeah. You can say that. I, I think guess. he makes control decks, just in general, way more viable than they have been right now. Because lately, would... they're, they've been kind of in a Would standstill. Ponder not do the same thing? They would help them be more consistent, but what I That's think... That's all that Brainstorm does, though. But you're not just getting Brainstorm. <sighs> okay. But most of the time, as you said, you're getting Brainstorm. Most of the time, but all you right. get other situations covered by having Jace. If you just Brainstorm, they can kill him pretty much any time they want. Well, uh, depending getting... on the deck you're against, yeah. Sure, but getting three power out or dealing three damage to a thing isn't is very far from impossible and yeah no and and i agree lightning bolt is everywhere you can easily yeah. bolt him sure but i'm just saying he's he does so much more he could yes he does ponder so is much so more. much more efficient it makes, yeah, he's more ponder is more efficient it makes every deck more efficient i'm just saying repeated brainstorm repeated fate seal as tantalizing as that is also on turn one, if I'm going first, yeah. you know, sure, maybe mental misstep, but... Well, misstep's not. That's banned. Right. 
That's a whole other thing. <laughs> Gotta remember that too. Should that be unbanned? <laughs> no, Misstep no, should not. Not be in modern, definitely no. not. Um, but no. So turn one, I have an unmolested ponder. <laughs> it just does what ponder does. Man. Yeah. And ponder, the drop off for ponder, though, I feel like there's, there's a drop off for ponder. It's not that, not that much. Rem- think back to our card advantage episode. When is card advantage ever a bad thing? Card advantage is never. And at, I get that. And at but one I'm just mana, saying, it's so efficient, right? Sure, sure. Like if you're losing for one, and in modern, I guess you can look to lose. Worst case, the earliest, if it's not like a stupid combo deck, I guess turn three or four, maybe. Turn three or four is usually you what say? you're looking at, yeah. So on turn three or four, if you've got four mana, you're spending one to get ponder and maybe draw an out, right? You see three, potentially yeah, four cards to get in. But out. I think Jace, not always, but can be the out on his own. Ah, I'm going to say no, because if he's your, like, He's not your win condition, no, although no, no, he no, no, can no, no, win no, the no, game no. Un, untouched. Yeah, he if can he gets easily win ult. the game, but that's not, if, you'd never expect to ult him. There's, that's just God, ridiculous. No, 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 no. But if Jace is your <laughs> oh crap button, I need to play him or I might lose. If the win eventually is turn three or four, you can't do anything right until your next turn. And you've already lost if he's your oh crap button and you have to play him to win. To uh, get out, right? I don't know that that's always true. Because think about it. Four mana is gone. Jace down. The brainstorm doesn't help you there. I get that exactly. So the if bounce a creature really it that the bounce a creature I think can bounce, be relevant. Maybe yeah. Bounce like, maybe if they've got a very strong creature, they've got sure. you down on life, or they've got a plethora of creatures. They're gonna get you next turn. They've got lethal. If you bounce one, that saves you that life. That could yeah potentially get you out of it at least buy you a turn. Yeah, um, I mean. All of this is circumstantial, but of course, yeah, yeah. yes, that could, and I mean, that could, could say fate you. seal if they've put something on top. Say mm-hmm. they've seer envisioned, which you know is the whatever. They draw a card, they scry one, or they scry two. They put a card on top. Mm-hmm. You get to fate seal, see what that is. If they, you now know what they need, and that they, you need to put that on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and the, I think and serum visions is very. You're gonna. I be think able to that, do that is way more would be way more rare than any other situation. No way. Oh, absolutely. I don't think you see that nearly as much. Really? Yeah, you're. You are hoping for so much because draw cards, scry two. You don't know. They keep it on top. That could a be mind games, right? They could. But have, you get to decide. You get to see and figure that out. Yes, but you don't know how badly they need that card. Like, it's, I mean, the thing about it is, like, so for instance, with the fate seal thing, mm-hmm. the way I would think you would normally play it is if, first of all, if they're hitting their land drops mm-hmm. and you see a land on top, you give them the land because it doesn't matter. They're gonna. They've hit their land drops. They're gonna be fine. Maybe. Um, which leaves them with just whatever's in their hand to play with. They're going to draw mm-hmm. that card. They get a land, and that's fine, but they've only got the cards in their hand. I'll say maybe. You never know how good a land is <laughs> until it's the land they need to play. You the don't, thing. but on turn four, if they've got four lands out, they're going to be able to play most of their deck at that point. Most cards in modern are not that expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you would give them the land. I could concede that, yeah. Uh, if they haven't been hitting their land drops... Mm. And you see a land on top, you fate seal it to the bottom. Hmm. You're giving that 100% concede. You're giving the opp- the opportunity that there could be another land on the right and under that, maybe and they that drew does the happen. Land with zero visions. And that's if fine. that's your scenario. No, I'm just saying if they've missed their land drops before sure. that, then there could be a land on, right under that, and that's fine. They could be drawing a dead card. You don't know, yep. but you give them, you know, you give them that opportunity. And I think that's worth more than you think it is. In the situation that they're mana screwed, that they have no... Like, that's totally different. But I think it actually is almost more impactful when they're fine on mana and you see a land on top. Because that's when you're guaranteed to know, okay, they're drawing just a land this turn. Well, again, that goes back to it depends on the deck. If it's a control deck, do you give them the land? I don't know. Uh, Probably, but I like, think you do. Yeah, that's that's me. I probably would, but at the same time... What if they're holding their bomb and they just need that one more land? They're just waiting. I mean, who knows? There's information is always valuable. I would so much rather. I mean, and this is a weird thing to say, but I'd way rather see what's in their hand. So I thought he's over 
if but you could thought seize and then jason and you know everything no you could totally <laughs> but like in the if it's fate seal or thought I mean, that's seize, i'd rather thought seize right that's again hypotheticals that just couldn't be and that's fair um i had a point kev i was gonna go back to you i forgot what it is oh efficiency yeah i just i don't feel that and this is kind of a point that frank makes i don't mm. want to misquote him so i'll kind of wheel back and sure, explain sure. it but ponder being so efficient and it is i'm not it's i ponder is a great card it should not fantastic. if we're if we were looking at these two cards mm. and like okay wizards was like you guys have to decide it resolves one of these is gonna be unbanned <laughs> and one of these needs to be banned like clearly ponder needs should to stay be banned. banned there is no yes. question i'm not arguing that oh but that's what that's the but we were debating Kev. no i think ponder should definitely stay i mean seriously like come on. it's way stronger because why kev is it because way it stronger? hits more decks because it's way stronger in modern than jace would be because it hits more decks it's stronger in modern than it... because it hits more decks but say the, the first part no why is this why is it banned over jace then if it's not because it hits more decks because it's... it creates consistency in any blue deck because it's stronger in modern than jace would be Anyway. Uh, did he do it? I didn't say it. Did he do um, it? Boys? Where's loose lips? Hang on, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's if we ever play un again and I get yeah. loose lips, I'm going to make you say <laughs> ponder is always better than Jace. <laughs> uh, uh, or I get to draw a card, which is nice. Uh, I'd just let you draw it. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and no, I don't think ponder is better than Jace, but it's stronger in modern. It would do more work than Jace the Martin Sculptor. Yes, it would. It would. Do more work yes, in it modern. would. It makes oh my god, Grixis Death Shadow. God, any deck that runs blue. Any, <laughs> anybody wants to know what their next draws are going to be to formulate around that. Here's the thing. God. If you look at all the modern decks yeah. that are out there right now, replace all the Serum Visions with Ponder. That's so many more cards Jeez. than you know Jace would be fitting into slots or anything like that. Yeah, I get that. I'm not that's fine i'm just saying in the decks that jace would go in i think he would be better he'd be more impactful in those decks in those scant few sure i i don't think it's as few as you're thinking though like realistically you get every control deck probably that runs yes blue, which you is get every control 99 percent of them um not Grixis Death Shadow. Turn, turn four is no. You wouldn't. No. No. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Turn four is too big. Somebody for that would deck. try it though, for sure. They shouldn't. That slow you down way, way too much. Yeah, it just doesn't um, formulate the plan for Death no, Shadow. It's not focused enough. Um. So control decks. I wonder if you put it in Lantern Control. You think you put it in Lantern? Probably. Yeah. That seems pretty good. That's just another Fate Seal in Lantern Control. <laughs> yeah. If you're that already... seems actually pretty good. <laughs> that's. All right, it would break Lantern. <laughs> yeah, that it takes Lantern to a whole nother level. That's actually, I, I mean, I honestly, I just that. thought about that, but yeah. No, but that is good. Um, pretty awesome. Although, on turn four, if you've not already locked them out. Well, you spend the first few turns playing, like, Thoughtseize into your combo pieces. Yes, yes. Turn three in Snaring Bridge, turn four. J like, it actually curves out kind of well. It's at the top end of the curve. Yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong. But I just mean in general, like, I, it's actually not my bad. My thing is they've already <coughs> They've already got the pieces. Yeah, they've point. already, like, done it turn ideally. four without yeah, Jace yeah. now. Yeah. Again, ideally, yes. But you do get to Fate Seal, and then if it's something good, you just get to mill it. If you don't have the lantern, no. you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I think that's worth it. Like, I think you'd run it as a one of, probably. But Yeah. Well, I I think that's a deck that you could play two or three in. Really? Because of his fate know. seal. Yeah. I don't know. I think he's that good for... What's Maybe. It? Lantern, lantern control. Thank you. <laughs> he definitely uh, hits any control deck. I mean, yeah. there's no way around that. He hits control decks. He creates more consistency in control decks. And... I think he so adds does... a little bit more play. I'm not saying Ponder doesn't. I'm know, just talking about Jace. It does it way more efficiently at all. <laughs> it does it more mean. efficiently. This one does it more often, <laughs> is what I would say. No, it doesn't. Because it gets four turns, it gets three turns less than Ponder. And again, that is assuming he's dead. But if you want to think of it like this, he would have to survive till turn seven to get as many turns as Ponder. 
Which in a control deck you can protect him? Probably, but not if you turn not if you cast him turn four. He's, so you don't have to cast like you probably no, you leave up cryptic. You don't have to turn four. But now at this point. You leave up cryptic, you think? Uh depending on what you're against. I think I mean, that, yeah, that's I guess. situational. But, but I mean you always want to leave up mana in a control deck. Yeah. But that's yeah. yeah. That's another topic for another day. Uh <laughs> did we did we do a principles of control? <laughs> no, we did principles of aggro. I know that, but do we not talk about control decks a little bit? I don't think we did it. We've talked about blue it. decks, but not Yeah. Huh. Maybe that'll be filler fun day next week. This episode That's is good. going on long, so this is all right, let's let's boil it down. Final yeah. consensus. Is ponder would ponder be? Worse for <sighs> modern? Yes. Yes. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I still like Jace better. I'll die anyway. happy man. You can like Jace better. <laughs> I probably like Jace better. If you don't like Jace better, you're just wrong. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, Jace, and again, this goes back to Frank's points. Jace you want to play with because he's fun. He's just cool. Right? Right. Like, yeah. yeah that doesn't make him good. I get that. Oh, he's great. But he don't, is still good. Don't hear I me mean, say he's not good. Yeah. He's just not as competitive anymore. And I guess to Frank's point, there's so many decks out there that beat you turn four now that jace just doesn't do enough yeah and i think that is why ponder i will say too it's also (laughs) sort of putting my actual views aside or putting my argument aside okay in a control deck on turn four specifically Mm -hmm. more than likely you would leave up cryptic mana rather than play jace i think like you more likely want to be leaving that up and just in more situations and that's outside of this art i just think that like that's generally what you would do in a control deck that in the argument now you have a four mana card you're not using on turn no exactly and that's why i'm saying it's outside of the argument because i don't want it going against me (laughs) i kind of just did (laughs) anyway Um, uh, all right so final summation Jace should be unbanned. He'd just be yeah, fun to play I with. Yeah, I think he would be fun to play with. I yeah. don't think he would be absurd or anything like that. I think he would be uh, good. He but. would be good. He is not in a position <coughs> anymore to break Modern Open Mm-mm. like he was in the past, and we'll we'll posit that. But then again, Ponder was also banned. Yeah. That's it. I do think you get the people who would try to like literally just make Splash a deck. Splash blue to play Jace. Yeah, or just like make a deck about like ramping him out as quickly as possible. They'd play like islands to an uh, turn one island mm. ponder turn two island exile two simian spirit guides Jesus. <laughs> and then play jace like i mean you have to imagine if that's so like specific but if you did ramp out jace yeah. on turn two like you oh, kind of win at that turn point. two changes <laughs> him completely yeah Whew. but i mean that wouldn't uh, that's not gonna happen but god bless hey maybe it will um all right so I think we're generally in agreement. Ponder would definitely be the one to do more work in modern. Yeah, um, I think Jace so. would be fine to unban. I think. Yeah, he'd so. be he'd be really fun to play with. It might be time. Yeah. Um, because of all of your stinking decks that beat him. Yeah. Which was my point way back when, before the times we had video, that Jace just doesn't do enough on turn four to be scary. He's still kind of scary though. I mean, you still kill him if you get the opportunity. Yeah. You kill him. Yeah. Like you have to. Yes. Fine. He's no, he's not. Sc- I don't know. Kevin, let's put this to bed. Yeah. <laughs> let's move to our last we'll, little piece of. We can rehash this anytime yeah. you'd like. That's fine. It bears conversation. It does. Right. And we want to know what you guys think. Comment totally. below. Uh, what do you think? Do you agree with us? Do you not agree with us? Is Whatever. there a point we didn't make? Yeah, that's fine. We'd love to hear it. Um. Moving to our last little segment, though. Sure. Uh, every Monday, we've started posting questions on our Instagram, as well as other social media sites, uh, of the question of the week. And so this past Monday, what we did was post a question to all of you, asking, what is the best counterspell in Magic's history? Yes. Uh, and this posed a lot of interesting responses in some cases. Okay. Um, we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> Red Elemental Blast. But uh, let's do it in reverse. Third, second, first. Okay, and I don't know what these are. so I'm Yeah, you've not heard these. I am uh, third was waiting. a tie. Okay. Uh, between two one mana spells, uh, Mental Misstep. Yeah. Uh, as well as Mana Tithe. Mana Tithe? Not Spell Pierce? No, no, not. Huh. I actually kind of like the Mana Tithe 
I mean, call. better than spell pierce. Yeah, probably, I like it but... because it adds counter to white, which is just a cool thing. That's all. <laughs> it's actually pretty. I mean, it's a four spike in white. But speaking of which, four spike, it got a vote, but. It it didn't well, make the top three. No, I don't think four spikes. I mean, <laughs> it's not that good. Turn one counters are exceptionally good. Yes. On turn one. <laughs> exactly. <that's laughs> Only. Exactly. So you mental misstep, a spell that costs one. Yeah. That's I mean, and that can happen. And misstep in- is, it should be known, misstep is so good because, it's, first of all, it's theoretically free. Yeah. Um, It's unconditional countering, mm-hmm. so there is no, like, pay this much and it's fine or anything mm-hmm. like that. And it hits a lot of really good stuff. Mm-hmm. Path. Uh, Swords to Plowshare, it hits Legacy, obviously, so Swords right. to Plowshares, Thoughtseize, Inquisition, any of the one mana stuff. I mean, there's um, so much of it. Hits, uh, <coughs> it's just spells that cost one, right? It's not like... It's just spells, yeah, yeah. So it's it just hits, um, a thing that costs one. Help me out. The elf, the black-green elf that gets you stuff. Deathrite Shaman. Thank you. Yeah, it counters Shaman. Uh, I mean, it just counters so much. And in a format like Birds. Legacy, where things are so cheap, it's like, hey, free, you don't get to do this. Like, sure, you do it. You play it. Yeah, misstep um, actually might kind of get my... Well... No. Um. Okay. No, though. Well, wait, Do you sorry. like misstep or mana tithe better? I like misstep better. Misstep, yeah. I think, clearly. Yeah, because you can play it in white. <laughs> it <doesn't, laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, number two, what do you think it is? Number two, counterspell. Wrong. Really? Oh, no, 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 mana leak. No. Okay, what is it? Force of Will. Got number two. So let's talk about Force of Will really quick. First what? of all, it's a five mana counter. Just kidding. It's free. Uh... Uh, you pitch a blue card in your hand, pay a life, and you get a free counter spell. It got second. I'm not actually too upset about this. Force of Will would have been my number one. I think it would be my number one, to be honest. Just because it's free, you don't have to leave up mana for it. <laughs> um, which is important, especially in a control deck when you can sort of psych out, you tap out, and then you actually still have a counter. Um, I'm for. All right, Kev, what's number one? Uh, it, number it, one it, with only one more vote than four. It better be so a card I have never heard of. Mana drain. The one that pays six. What is that? Oh, it's mana drain counter unless they pay X, right? No. What is mana drain? All right. So you know counterspell, the card counterspell. I'm familiar, yes. Tell me how much counterspell costs. This many. Okay. Of a specific... Blue. Two blue. It, what does the text say? Counter target spell. Okay. Now add on to that. Okay. On your next turn... Draw a card. No. <laughs> on your next turn... Yeah. Add to your mana pool... Yeah. Colorless mana... Equaling oh, right. the CMC of the cards you countered. Right. Yeah, it's pretty good. Here's why I'm gonna say no. That's okay. not as good. Is because that card is legal in how many formats? I think it's just vintage. I think it's banned in legacy, but I might be wrong. And how many do you see? <laughs> Over force of will. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like none. I, you kind of have to break this down as far as like how powerful it is, both of which are very powerful. Oh, um, but Force of Will just gets played more, I think. Because it's free. I'm I'm saying that, w- hedging a little bit, that neither of us play Vintage. <laughs> no, not well. um, I've watched not, a lot of Vintage, well. and I do not see many. I see Mana Drain, don't get me wrong, but I don't see it as often as Force of Will. I think... <laughs> the thing about Force of Will is it's... Because it's free, it's good on every turn, as long as you have another blue card in your hand. Yeah. Whereas, whereas uh, Mana Drain only is good after like after you have two mana, I will say. I w- two blue mana. I can't say turn two because you have Moxes and Black Lotus, things like that. So in that format, I think it's great. But Force of Will's just, in general, I think better. I will say that Mana Drain probably could put you in a position to win the game. Oh yeah, really for quickly. sure. Because like, even if it's turn two, yeah, and they play a two mana thing, yeah, you're gonna have five mana on turn three. Which, well, assuming you get your land drop, it's still. And what if you played a bird's turn one? Yeah. If you're in some kind of blue green, now you have six mana on turn three. Yeah. 
that could be really good but... i think it is it allow there's more ceiling i think with mana drain and what mm. i mean by that is it allows for more crazy things to happen okay. whereas force of will just gives you more outs the ceiling yeah. for it is you just counter a spell right like i mean which sure. is good i mean don't get me wrong but i just mean like <laughs> mana drain then has the secondary effect of you get to play stuff for mm. like free basically uh which is great <laughs> but yeah so some interesting notes uh, cards that were also voted for four spike got a vote red elemental blast got a did vote. it really that was a joke no it did i think that's kind of cool huh. uh counter spell itself got two votes i like uh, counter spell it should be known mana drain got nine uh force of will got eight mana tithe and misstep both got three each uh so Neat. that's sort of the scale that we're looking at Neat. mana leak got a vote cryptic command didn't get anything uh rewind got something <laughs> got a vote well okay rewind is sweet it's not like i mean it's not four more, mana counter a spell untap four land it's not more than cryptic sweet but it at turn four becomes free like but how did we cool. see that before cryptic that's all i'm saying no you're right i much i like cryptic way more counter I mean, thing draw a card but i mean if, if we're four, looking at four mana counter spells rewind cryptic I but mean, again rewind is free at four mana free you still have to leave up mana to play it well, you still think I'm in a cryptic, too. Yeah, but cryptic is just better. Yes, but it's not free. That's all I'm saying. It, you replace it. Though. Like, there's... You replace it, but... <coughs> you replace it's something better. Out. You could rewind and still cryptic command. Think about that. <laughs> think about that. Can you cryptic twice? If you have eight mana. No. Um, <laughs> uh no i mean cryptic's better though anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. any yeah so mana drain coming in at the top there force of will in second and then mana tie the misstep Ugh. tied for third um that feels wrong but i see feels a little i wrong. see the uh the line but no i i buy the argument i think it's cool uh do we you think it's be, better uh it's super situational i think generally speaking no i think force of will is better oh um, boy just in general i uh, think force of will is attaboy I do like that Mana Drain allows some ceiling, though. No, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I like um, it. like it as a card. But yeah, so that's it for the question of the week, though. We will have another one uh, posted tomorrow. Titulating. Titulating. Yeah, that. Uh, so we encourage you guys on our social media pages, our various social media pages. It will be posted everywhere. Uh, comment whatever the question is going to be. We don't know what it will be yet. Um, but yeah. I think that's it. Um, we do have our pack opening, our crack a pack. As always, um, every episode sponsored by whom, Kevin? Grand Slam, as you can Heck see on the back yeah. of our shirts. Hopefully, um, I turned enough so you can see. If uh, not, we rewatch this, and I'm just like showing you my side. I feel, <laughs> I feel real bad. I would love. <laughs> um, I would too. But yeah, so we Gotta encourage you guys to go check out Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Uh, they have been helping us out a ton. Uh, with these pack openings as well as some other stuff so uh yeah our we do have our gold cards in uh, yeah that's why i look uh, so disappointed oh. but this is great i'm pretty happy um so i did not get my gold card i got dread wanderer first that's a cool one we should say uh, i'm looking for combat celebrant you're looking for whom gideon of the trials yeah he's... which i may or may not have found did you what yeah I totally did. It would happen first. <laughs> it happened uh, first the yes. first time. Yeah. Whatever. I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. I'm pretty stoked. I actually think this Gideon's kind of garbage, but <laughs> yeah, that's um, the thing. It still is a three mana planeswalker, which I like. Oh, that's fun. I mean, he's in a good family there. I think yeah. definitely. Who's the best three mana planeswalker? Would you say? Um, uh, Liliana. Duh. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot she was. Other than her, maybe Ashiok. Yeah, I was thinking Ashiok, but I forgot <laughs> Liliana was. But yeah, Liliana, Liliana is definitely better for sure. Yeah. Uh, so you said combat, <laughs> combat celebrant. You got Dreadwander. I actually like Dreadwander. I like him too. Um, um not necessarily. Well, honestly, in limited, he's still pretty good. Yeah, he's um, still pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, recursion is great. Yeah, actually. Well, you talk through your pack. Sure. I... So each episode, we like to look through it and say, in a limited aspect, what are we taking? uh other like considerations i really like weaver of curtains even though it's not awesome uh he's a three mana tap to add two colorless to your mana pool he's not awesome but i i think he's fun um 
Anointer Priest is great. Electrify deals four damage. You know, you kind of always have to have this in limited. Oh, yeah. I like that, too. Um, but honestly, Dread's probably my pick. It's a good one. Yeah. Super good turn one. Hooded Brother is also great. I don't know about pick one, though. Maybe in a worse... I like the Weaver of Currents a lot. Do you? You think I it's do. pick one? I don't know if it's pick one. I just like it. I think ramp yeah. is always good. Yeah, so. but that cements you, cements you into one of the weaker. It does. It's not the best. In yeah. And blue green ramp is great. Good is okay, but yeah. you know it's yeah. a weaker archetype in this. That's fair. Sure. 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 Okay, let's talk about your pick. You picking right. Gideon first? Well, I got Gideon, which I do think is probably the pick. I mean, it's in at, a limited at environment. Worst, I it's can the, see it. It's a four four for three. That's you just get to keep playing. <laughs> um, oh no! Yeah, that's. Pretty which good. is great uh in the uncommon slot the only thing that i'm really interested in is merciless javelinier uh yeah. which i do think is a good card uh probably not first pick not over gideon okay um i did get cartouche of strength which as we've said before is the best cartouche i believe Definitely. i got a fling Heck and yeah, i have man. to have a soft spot in my heart for fling yeah you do <laughs> um fling actually is great on the positive side of things, again, first pick in Gideon, I've got a few really good white cards that I would hope would wheel. Anointer Priest is just solid. Uh, Tawcrop Elite is okay in the go-wide strategy. Overall, it's not that great, but a Winged Shepherd is actually pretty fantastic, I think. Yeah. Being able to cycle for one or just have a 3-3 late game. 3-3 not being huge, but with Flying and Vigilance, that's sometimes is no, relevant. No, sure. That um, can be a great draw late game. So I would hope that one of those would wheel, but yeah, Gideon. Cool. I got it. Dude, congrats. Um, I'm happy I don't for think you. we're going to pick new goal cards until. Not in Amonkhet. Not definitely. in Amonkhet. Uh, we might I mean, pick we, some in Hour of Devastation. We already we'll know see. your first goal card. You want to just go say what it's going to be? I know what it's going to be. What do you think it's going to be? Kevin, just say it. The Locust God? Yes. Yeah. That's your goal card. I really card want for the sure. Locust God. Um, it looks so good. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's insane. <sighs> I'll have to give mine some thought. That's fair. I don't know who I want. Actually, I kind of want the uh, blue enchantment that makes you mill. Oh, yeah? Um, I really like that card. Something about going crazy. It's basically you mill however many cards you've already milled that turn. Yeah. Or your the opponent, opponent does. does. Actually, it's an aura so curse. So you traumatize. So it could be you. <laughs> you just <laughs> do what? It's an aura curse, so it could be you. Well, yeah, I guess so, but <laughs> that would be stupid. Um, unless, <laughs> no. Um, uh, except for in Rune. Well, uh, uh, anyway. you just traumatize the opponent, and then, and then you get to mill the rest of their deck. It yeah. seems pretty awesome. It's great. Um, but yeah, so we'll see about that. I'm not going to pick another later. gold card yet. Though, not an Alma so. Cat. Oh, I still got mine. Yeah. Oops. You got this. You'll get it before our. I kind of don't want to open more Alma Cat. Really? We've opened so much. We have. Maybe we'll finish out before our hour of devastation. We might just finish out the box that Grand Slam has provided us. Mm. Uh yeah. and see if we get one. Maybe. We'll see. Let's do it. Maybe. We'll see. Guys, this is our longest episode to date. <laughs> this is such it a was, long episode. We it got was, into uh, an argument sort of, so that makes sense. Yeah, but that's fine. Um we should always be talking about ideas and polarizing things. Yeah, and especially yeah. why you're wrong. I like that a lot. Um guys. I agree. I love why you're wrong. Um, uh, you, here's the deal, guys. You conceded to me. Though. Here's the deal, guys. You conceded to me. We appreciate you uh, hanging out with us, watching our filler fun day episode. Whew. We're uh, listening. And our shazzy spat. <laughs> our snazzy. Snazzy. New. I got it. Shirts. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for knowing. Um, we I, really appreciate I'm any knowing, feedback, man. any listens, any watches that you guys have. Um, send them our way. Yeah. Your watches. I want a Rolex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but thanks for hanging out with us, guys. And a huge thanks to Andrew and Grand Slam uh, for their support for us. And uh, I think that's going to be it for us this yeah, episode. That, we'll that see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what else we could tack on here. No, like, that's, it is We got to be done. Um, tomorrow is the Vintage Deck Tech episode. We do have a community whoop, whoop. deck that we will be featuring as well as one of our own uh, that we'll talk about. Yeah, and uh, cool. until then, we hope you guys have an awesome Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, as always, my name is Will. My name is Kevin. This has been It Resolves. Resolving.